As we approach 2020, access to the internet is no longer a nice to have. It's a basic requirement for communities to have equality of opportunity and economic development. It's a fundamental driver of prosperity. When we came to Perry Sound and to Carling and built our house, there were no computers. There wasn't any connectivity other than the telephone. And our, our first connection was internet uh, over the telephone line, painfully slow. I'm also a photographer. And the pictures with the cameras now uh, are very large. For me to upload a picture at 1.4 megabits per second would take a long time and would sometimes drop out. Uh, so it would be very frustrating. For the last four years, I have used my phone as a hotspot with 20 gig of data per month, and that's it, that's it. So people send me songs, people send me movie reviews, all this stuff, and I go, this is torture, guys, torture. And then they have tried to Zoom and they've tried to Messenger. I don't, I don't have the bandwidth to be able to do that. So you'd break up, and the first thing that happens is the kids go, I'm out of here. Do you know what I mean? They're, they're bored already when it's just dialogue. They're even more bored when um, you can't get a good connection. So they would do some tricks for me or something, and I couldn't see it, so I couldn't comment, because I didn't quite know what was going on, and they would just go. So this project started by Senjin. They put the call out, so they're, they're funding this as well. Uh, Vianet responded, we're a provider, we're funding it. And it's not just that, we need what we call local champions. And we find them everywhere where we're building in rural areas. It could be a homeowner, it could be a local politician. In this area, um, there's a group called West Perry Sound Smart. It's a group of about five or six volunteers. Volunteers, they're not getting paid for this, that have been working with VNet and trying to come up with solutions for the past five years. Our organization, West Perry Sound Smart, is basically the coordinator. So in this case, Senjen, we won that expression of interest. We've worked with Vianet uh, since Vianet got selected. And we've worked with the township uh, to uh, understand what, some, what their, or some of their requirements are and make sure that we meet those requirements and work uh, with them. A strong partnership ecosystem is the linchpin of a successful program or a successful project. And we see it very much in this case with our partnership with the Ontario government, with the local community association, as well as with VNet as a strong technology partner helping us deploy this project. It really takes all elements of partnership to bring the different uh, parties together for a successful program that fits the needs of the community. So when we looked at this project and looked at what Senjen was looking at, we said, hey, we've got fiber in Perry Sound. How do we get signal over to Carling? We looked and we said, hey, we've got fiber optic right near that tower. What if we brought fiber to that tower, did a microwave hop, built a brand new tower in Carling, dropped down and built fiber to the home to these 150 to 200 homes? What a great project. We have to get uh, contractors in to clear land, to clear a road into the area. The crews will first come in to put in the foundations for the tower, where the tower base is and where the guy anchors are. 
and that usually involves drilling and or concrete. And that concrete has to settle and they have to leave the site and come back about two weeks later and actually bring the steel tower components with them and start assembling the tower. While the tower is being assembled, our fiber crews are simultaneously beginning to put the fiber optic conduit in the ground. For this project in Carling, we use two different ways to put the fiber conduit in the ground. The first way was a cable clap. The second way is open trench, where we just dig a trench, put a pipe in, fill that trench back in. Once we complete the construction of the fiber conduit, the pedestals and the vault, we come back with the fiber cable itself and we blow that fiber into the fiber conduit. The last thing we do before we're ready to install into your home is we splice all the fiber together. The fact that we now have a fiber optic line coming to our house with 50 megs down and no limit on the data is such a quantum leap from where we have been before. Just the fact that you can come to a rural area now and have reliable connectivity uh, where that wasn't possible before. So it's, a, it's a big thing. Like I said before, it's, it's going to change the dynamic of rural situations. The implications for this for, you know, rural people, um, isolated people, um, I, I don't know, just, I really, really want you guys to understand the impact, personal gut level impact of what you're doing is making. Christmas is a big deal, and we always got together. 22, 25 people, not gonna happen. But whatever they do now, I can be interactive with them on whatever format they decide to do. So I'm, I have tears just thinking about the difference this connection will make. I said to the guys, I hope that you celebrate, not just that you're good technicians and you did your job, you changed our lives. You have changed our lives for the better, unbelievably so.